Hi everyone, this is the Deep Parenting Podcast. My name is Brian Suleiman. And my name is Linda Ijafo Suleiman. And we have our friends here. Woo! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> See, that's why they're here. Welcome, Welcome to Deep Parenting Podcast. What should be the album? <laughs> no, ah, you get up. Be. <laughs> yes, I mean. And the shoulder pad will be. Yeah. Unfortunately. Please no, DJ. I'm back. I'm back. No. Is it running to Joe? 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 Is take over you? The spirit. The spirit. And that's what he went by to get to him. So, like yeah. no, God knew. I, I need to I, make him. So, so yes, um, we are here. <laughs> so, we are it's here not. Here <laughs> we are here again, Father. We are here. <laughs> so, <laughs> we are here did you come with your car or Tosis car? Uh, we came together. Uh, I will slash no. your tires <laughs> because she's asking because she doesn't know if it's your car or Tosis car. So we know whether we slash the tires to get. Tosis, don't worry, we'll drop you off at home. We we'll slash the tires. <laughs> <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Hi everyone, this is the Dual Parenting Podcast. My name is Ibrahim. My name is Linda, and we have again. <laughs> They've the come again. <laughs> It's not as if we don't have friends. Ayinka, Baby, why are you shalaying? We don't care. If we call, they answer. Yes. Uh-uh. Every time we call, our friends answer. That's the sign of how great we are as friends, that our friends will take time out of their okay, business. Okay, we get it. We get it. We get it. We get it. We, get it. we are here. Hashtag moving on. <laughs> But, yeah. So. Thank you guys for coming again. Always a pleasure. Always, always yes. A pleasure. Always a pleasure having you guys. So today's episode. We're doing another, we're doing an episode of Am I the Beep Hole? Um, so um, this episode, because we really enjoyed the last time we did one of these, um, and obviously you, you did as well, we decided that we should do it again. But instead of having just um, Kenny, Didi, and Hillary you know, interacting with us and trying to figure out who the asshole We is. We thought, who are our crazy friends? Half of our crazy hey. friends. So we well, decided to get hey, hey. Deji. Hey. <laughs> One of the half of the crazy friends. Wow. So, 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 so let's be, let's be clear. Uh-huh. Tosin. Is the sweetheart. Is, I mean. You can see. So she's the better half your... of Deji. Yes. Why so the I crazy half that? of Deji is But the reason why. I am well behaved people. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it, please. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, today um this 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 should be fun. This should be fun. Um the last time Hillary was playing devil's advocate, so maybe today I'll do a play. If it's serious. Wow. Hashtag moving on. <laughs> so let's jump right into it. Um the first one is Am I the asshole for wanting to be without my children? Ah, brother. <laughs> uh, am I the asshole for wanting to be without my children on Mother's Day? Ah, sister. Is a sister. Okay. Okay. Hear me out. 40 something mom with elementary aged kids. First of all, I love them more than words. Yada, yada, yada. She actually said yada, yada. Husband <laughs> is awesome and we have a great relationship. He definitely does his share of child wearing. Not exactly 50-50 due to logistics of our jobs, but definitely does more housework than I do. Mm. We are really one of those happy families. Huh? I can hear Keith Morrison on our Dateline intro now. <laughs> okay, she's funny. Um, but I am tired and I crave quiet. Okay, now I understand. I, 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 I do drop off every morning because Hobbs goes to work at 6 a.m. Getting the kids up, dressed, fed, packed, and off to school ranges from seamless, cheerful mornings, which are rare, all the way to all of us screaming and, cry- yeah, <laughs> and crying and punishments threatened, luckily also rare. But kids will be kids. And so the 10th time of mom, 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 from two floors away while I'm in the bathroom, no less, combined with X hit me, Y stole my spoon, I forgot to do my homework, I can't find my shoes, drive me effing batty. So far, I feel happy. I work a full day at at a semi-demanding job where I talk to people most hours of the day. Weekends are generally pretty chill with 
out too many comments and maybe an hour or two where the kids are preoccupied and I can have me time to read a book or stare at TikTok or whatever. Hubs volunteered to take the kids Friday afternoon to FIL's Phil's house. Okay, okay. And we back um, Sunday afternoon, which is Mother's Day. I love this idea as it gives me two mornings to sleep in and an entire full day to myself. The fact that I will wake up Sunday morning to a quiet house obviously means I am a horrible person and I really don't love my kids at all. I mean, what mother doesn't want to spend Mother's Day with her children? Hi, yes, that would be me. Someone even told my husband that he was the asshole for making Mother's Day about him and his family, who I love by his way. I want time to myself, but please tell me, am I the asshole? This is happening regardless of what the internet votes. So more just curious on how bad I should feel about it. <laughs> and, okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> DG. They are laughing. <laughs> so I, I know I know how Tosin feels about this. <laughs> so wait 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 why can't, can't you hear Tosin? She's already laughing. Okay, Tosin. She was asking. Okay, there was a question she asked, and she, but basically, you know my my heart about this. I'm like Mike. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So my heart about this is that mm, she's not crazy. Mm-hmm. She's perfectly normal. Mm-hmm. We are in the same boat. <laughs> um, yes, because uh, sometimes it's just a lot. Mm-hmm. It is actually, and I don't think there's anything wrong with recognizing that it's a lot. I think the problem is when people fail to recognize where, you know, that point where this thing is, I'm, I'm going to run mad yeah. very soon. If, you know, I just don't, you know, I can't press pause and take a break. Mm-hmm. And the fact that she wants to take a break is like, um, I'm in her, I'm in in her, her corner. corner. I'm in mm. her corner. So, okay. Good. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. I don't have any controversial thoughts on this, right? Because mm. to be fair, she doesn't sound like she has a nanny or a help. Mm-hmm. She's not in Africa, clearly. Mm-hmm. Because typically, you would have someone helping you mm-hmm. on a day-to-day. Yeah. At least yeah. for most times, except for holiday periods where people Travel. dread. Because you're like, ah, <laughs> well, are are they coming back? <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks. So I can imagine doing two weeks of hands-on parenting mm-hmm. from day to day. I yeah, did everything. You see the joy when Anani comes back from January. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> Jesus. But you're not keep straight with, oh, welcome hey, back. Welcome back. Oh, you're not keep, but you're like, I'm like, I don't have to wash plates again. I'm not washing plates. <laughs> no, 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 but it's for real. And I think I think part of the main thing here, and I think that's like the you know crux of the question is people thinking that it's not right for her to ask this or have this yeah. for herself because it's Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. I'm like, yeah. that's, that's the point of Mother's that's, Day. That's the point of yeah. Mother's Day. Mother to should, word. Yeah. Mother should rest <laughs> on Mother's Day. It's in the word. Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. It belongs to Mother. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think ultimately, it goes beyond the Mother's Day tag. There's mm-hmm. many social constructs that we, what we feel must define how we deal things, how we feel. Mm. And I think I'm about to that age, if it's old age, right? you know, that kind of just makes me think, I don't care <laughs> Sorry, what, what, what? what <laughs> people think. <laughs> he just, he just, he just, he just, me. <laughs> oh, baby. So yeah, funny. Why, oh, why was okay. I know. I forgive him. <laughs> 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 but that's so a good one. I, I'm going to behave. My friend, so, cool. I thought you say you'd be dev. <laughs> <laughs> So the reality is that I think fathers, mothers feel pressure mm. and they should do what they think is best, best. for them. Mm. Yeah. Right? So if it's to take time away, please take it. Mm-hmm. I think you've taken one or two days away to say, you know what? I just need to cope. Mm-hmm. My head was going to blow. And please go. <laughs> right? Because at the end of the day, nobody is in your shoes. Yeah. Right? So why should I bother about their opinions? Of course, there's wise counsel that you can consider, yeah. but ultimately make the right call for yourself. Mm. Completely agree. So I'm supposed to be playing the devil's advocate on this one, and I'm struggling <laughs> to find the angle. Hillary, Hillary, give me give me an angle to work with. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Hillary said this one is hard. hard. Okay, let me try. Let me try. Let me try. Um, He's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the husband is well behaved. Yes. It's, 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 so it's not as if the husband is um, the children away. Yeah. So he was someone that 
yes, kind of yes. guy now. Mm. It would be very easy. But, she's not, she's not, she's not. The she's kids not the want asshole. to spend time with them. I beg, they go. Do, this is me trying to play devil. Okay, okay, okay. So, no, let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. But they love their father. They love their father. Wait, 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 wait. Your mom's just giving me an angle to try and play devil's advocate. Let's think about it like this, right? For the kids, it's it it will be like a lasting impression that they are a burden to their mother. So she's trying to escape them on Mother's Day. Like mm. she's putting them, they, they will feel like, oh, it's Mother's Day. Mama doesn't spend Mother's Day with us. them ice cream, popcorn, the basic castle. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I DA in peace? Mm? <laughs> It's not possible. No, no, no. They, see, um, Hillary, we must find a way to to give, you know, give the people what they want. Some, 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 spice. some sp- God bless you. <laughs> so, no, but picture it, right? People don't want that. The kids, the kids want to spend Mother's Day. You know how they say grandparents spoil the children? Mm. Yeah. To go, Fair. To go, to go back home to do chores, to wash uh-huh. plates, to pick up your socks. Fair. An extra day of grandma, grandpa's love. I'm it's not, it's, it's not, it's not her. Not her. It's it's not not her. See, yeah. she's not the asshole. I don't even know why any. Okay, so let's let's read the. Um, thank you all for your thoughts and comments. Ninety nine percent say not the asshole. Yay! So we're right on the money. Mm-hmm. So I appreciate the virtual agreement. I wanted to hop back on to say that the amount of people who are saying my husband is so thoughtful for arranging this caught me off guard. Yes, he's awesome, but I didn't think he was some type of unicorn above all other dads or partners. My dear, apparently a lot of women are married to monsters. So mm-hmm. accept your the praise for your husband yeah. as you accept it. Yes. yes. And give him his flowers. Give him his flowers. Yeah. Yes. Um, take this as a hint. Make a point to give your spouse some time to themselves. You will get mega bonus points. <laughs> Most people relish, if not the quiet, just <laughs> lack of obligations. <laughs> Did you behave yourself? Plan an outing <laughs> away from the house for your for your kids for a whole day or start with a few hours. And important to add, saying I'll watch the kids, you go out and do something for you sounds like a nice gesture, but it isn't. The burden is still on the FET to entertain themselves. And really, the remaining parent isn't really trying. Sometimes we just want quiet in our own space until you said something. I'm like, 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 i Forgive us. Moving on. <laughs> so we have agreed that she's not the asshole, but she she get for hand. Uh, mm-hmm. She get wala. So there's this gist that was going around about the the you know scenario where someone wants to have a baby but is having a hard time. Mm-hmm. Um and then the person now asks. So there are two scenarios. Excuse me. One of them is asking her mother for eggs. What? What? No, 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 not not like not like eggs for breakfast. Eggs, ah. Like <laughs> See, don't remove my glass. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, um, she, she she maybe her eggs are not egging, like her reproductive organ eggs are not Isn't egging. Mom old? So maybe she's really young. Maybe she's this one is also long. Hey, do you want to read? maybe read it. <laughs> I knew it. Too. <laughs> Am I the asshole for leaving my mom? I might also for leaving after my mom kept joking about my childhood and calling me her practice kid. Okay, let's get into it. My so this person is 19. Hmm? Yes. No. So my parents had me young and on accident. So the parents were 19 when they had her, him or her at 19. Um and it was obviously not planned. My childhood was nothing but money troubles and listening to my parents scream at each other. Things only got better when my mom left my dad and started seeing my stepdad. He brought financial stability and is more of a father to me than my biological dad ever was. They have a daughter together, my sister Melody. I'm not blind. I know they shower her with attention and buy her everything that they can because I had nothing when I was her age. When I was younger, it frustrated me to see her loved in a way that I never was. But now I know that my mom did her best with the experience and resources that she had. It's just bad luck that it worked out the way that it did. With the context, with that context out of the way, Melody recently turned four and my parents went all out. 
they invited not only all the family in the area, families, she meant, in the area, but also some of Melody's friends from daycare and their parents. Once my mom and the other moms got to, had a few drinks each, <laughs> they started gossiping, no. The conversation, which I was not part of, but I was listening to, she was eavesdropping, because I was bored watching the kids turned to sharing stories about their kids. My mom, instead of sharing cute stories about Melody, decided to tell a group of random moms about the time I tried to make my parents stop fighting by collecting change lying around the house and giving it to them. I was seven. Oh. She was laughing. The, she was laughing. She was laughing the whole time and ended the story with, ah, the things you learn with the oldest. Hmm. Practice kids. Am I right? Stepdad's name. And okay, she, so she mentions his name and I never fight in front of Melody. I think that's why she's so much easier than, mm. you know. Mm-hmm. That, story is pain, that, that, story, that story is a painful memory for me. So I was hurt that she thought it was so hilarious. But I didn't say anything and tried to brush it off. The mom started talking about kindergarten because a few of them have kids who will be starting in the fall. My mom, who by then was shit-faced, <laughs> decided that it would be great I, it'd be a great idea to share the story of how she carried the whole school into letting me do gym class in my winter boots because that was one that was the one pair of shoes that I had. Oh, come on, man. Again, she told the whole story with a grin on her face and laughing. The last thing she said made me almost blow up. She said, thank goodness Melody can have all the shoes she wants. Though, with how much shit this person pulled at that age, maybe it was just best I didn't waste money on that on the practice kid. That's cold. I texted my mom. I'm glad you find how poor and miserable we were so funny, but I, it really upsets me how you clearly think of me as practice for Mel. I'm going, I'm going so someone should watch the kids. Then I left without talking to anyone. When I got home, I checked my text and found a rant from her saying that there were her stories and she could feel any, she could feel any, uh, okay, she could, there her stories and she could feel any way she wanted. She called me sensitive for not taking a joke and suggested I get a therapist. In brackets, I already have one and she knows that because I was jealous of a four-year-old. She thinks, she said I was rude for leaving. I was too upset to respond then. But after some thoughts, I think I may be in the wrong. Am I the asshole? I would just start with, nobody should ever give that mother a drink. Again, <laughs> again, again. That's it. I will start with that. Like no. she gets, she gets high and drunk, and she says rubbish, mm-hmm. hurtful things. Yeah, I don't know how old she is, but I think she. There's, there's many layers to this, right? Yeah, that's there's it. elements of so, of truth because think about it, right? If you are a first time parent, there are things you're going to learn from everywhere mm. except experience because you don't have any. Yeah, right. With the second child, the third child, some people have up to five. I don't know. Anyways, mm. they, <laughs> Strong they understand, okay, there's no point jumping or fretting because we've been here, done that. We have the badge to prove it, right? So there's some experience with multiple or more, the second or third oh, child. Yeah. However, Come on. this woman <laughs> is badly behaved. Very. Right? Mm. So there's elements of maturity that doesn't exist with her. Yes. Right? Because... Again, people say drink or drinks or alcohol or being yeah, drunk brings out what is in you. you. So clearly she thought... She has, she those has thought all those things many times. Yeah. And yeah. again, it might be the circumstances around having a child very early. Mm. Guys. <laughs> yes. So, <laughs> so <laughs> right? Oh she might have been dealing with issues from her parents, maybe abandoning her, whatever it is. But again... There is pain there. Mm. There is stress. There was crying to let your child be in a class because of shoes or not having shoes. It's not fun. Yeah, it's not fun. Yeah, right? let's be. Let's so be. there's clearly healing. Yeah, she needs the therapy therapist, actually. Yeah, she needs the therapy. She needs the therapy. Like, she needs yeah. the therapist. In fact, like, looking through this story, because did you understand me? When I hear this kind of things, I'm always trying to pick out, okay, is there something... Some way that this, although it looks bad, is not like the person is not all the way bad. And this, although it looks good, there is still something hidden or not quite clear about it. So what I can pick out from this is that um, 
on both sides. That's for the a response. That's a person who wrote this. Mm-hmm. And for the mom, there are definitely issues. There are definitely issues. And um, they just got exposed. That's mm-hmm. just because I, from, you know, the writing, I get the sense that, and from the things that have been happening, you know, I get the sense that um, the writer is... She's, she has some, there's some conflicts. Mm. There's some inner conflicts, mm. some inner turmoil, which is not unusual mm-hmm. for a person who has gone through like yeah. major, yeah. you know, life situations experiences. and experiences at, you know, that young age, seeing parents fight and mm-hmm. all of that. So there's definitely something. And then now having to live, see the later part of her childhood and see it differently, completely yeah. like, you know, 180 with another child who is like her sister or mm-hmm. his sister. And imagine that why didn't why wasn't this? Why didn't for I get me? all of this? Even yeah. though you know, in writing, they kind of said, "Oh, that she just you know he or she has just accepted that it was you know bad luck." But I still think that there is you know there are things that she definitely has to work yeah. on. Yeah, and 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 you know when person said they seen a the therapist, I mm-hmm. say yeah, yeah. Definitely. Actually, a very quick story, mm-hmm. right? So mm-hmm. I I think Raph knows that for many years, I think it's only recently I started liking birthdays. I didn't care about birthdays for a long time. Right? Because I didn't have a 10th birthday party. That was why. Neither did I. And wait now. I didn't. My, my older brother had one. Mm-hmm. Was that my turn? And then now said there was no lights, no water, no money. Strike. It was just a, it was a compliment. <laughs> my brother after me had. I said, clearly, nobody, nobody likes loves me. Loves Anybody me. hates me. Nobody I'm going to eat some worms. <laughs> so fast forward a couple of years. My brother had a 21st birthday party. Uh-uh. Well, my, 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 my turn. I mean, uh, it's like, eh, <laughs> eh, <laughs> I can't remember what I said, but my mom picked up on it, right? And she now literally begged me. Oh. She went to buy stuff, cooked food, told me to go and take her car so I can drive it to school mm-hmm. and yeah. have a party feel, in school. She literally picked up the fact that I was going to just close down. I just shut the person down. I am. Mm-hmm. People say I can be stubborn. But you can. You can. I can. <laughs> so can. Uh, but yeah. the point is, <laughs> the point is, point. <laughs> five years. The point, point is, is still that even do <laughs> it would happen, right? Because mm-hmm. times and seasons. So imagine. Your first child, you have plenty of money. Mm. You go all out. Second mm. child, maybe business not going so well, the economy. Yeah. And you don't do as much. It yeah. will happen. But yeah. it's about parents picking that up and trying to either make it up or at least make yeah. the child Imagine. feel seen. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. not your fault, mm-hmm. yeah. but we'll make it up. So mm-hmm. that's so important. I think that's what is missing here. That's right? what's missing, actually. That's what's so is missing. So yeah, I, I agree because it's the reaction. So what has happened has happened, mm. right? But then at the end of the day, it's the reaction that her mother has to her lashing out that is my problem. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So let's just assume Maybe that she was still shit faced. Okay, well. Maybe fair, she was still fair. Still no, by the time she sent the message. Yeah, but she was still Yeah, so that's the probably thing. But, uh, well, sorry. So fair, <laughs> fair. That's fair. That's fair. Hmm. How's that? Why are you guys not missing why? Yeah, she's being asked. No, no, I'll, I'll repeat it. Mike, Mike, him. Mm. Are you guys not missing? Are you guys not missing why? Because she left the party? Her. No, the four-year-old. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She left the four-year-old, right? Yeah, she left the four-year-old. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the part of it. Yes, I know. But the reason why she did that she is because she had heard she had heard her mother like basically take the most some of the most traumatic experiences of her childhood and make a, a party Just joke, make a joke. Mel, out of it. Yeah, yeah, but she didn't leave Mel... Alone. She left her with her mother now. No, Hillary is doing a great job. Thank you for jumping back in and being the a very the, good the devil's, devil's advocate. advocate. Thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so she 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 leaves Mel, but Mel is not alone. She's there at it's the party. A party. It's a party. There are other kids. All the parents are there. So it's not as if she left her by herself in a strange in a park where there are strangers. And she so texted no, right. And I, she texted and, and, she was and, leaving. And, well, I I actually get what he's saying because I. Think about it, and I'm like, I probably would. No, no, no I'm saying that I understand. Okay, the, okay. I understand. The, I understand that point and that perspective. That oh, is it because of that? Would you with? Is that enough, mm. or should that be the reason why you would leave? You know, someone else who can't protect themselves because you feel a certain type of way. I get that, but at the same time, one has to just be very aware of, you know, where their triggers are set, and there's mm. nothing you can do about it because. If she stayed there, she would just have been useless. There's a possibility that she just have been just as useless yeah. as if she was Wasn't not there. there. Or she might have actually even gone ahead and done or said something 
She might have lashed out, exactly. She might have lashed out. So, so, yeah. so is she the asshole? No. Nope. It's hard. No, I don't think so. So for feeling the way she felt and getting the response she got, yeah. no. Nah. I agree. Nah. She's not. She's nah. not the asshole. Mommy shouldn't drink. Exactly. Nah, she's still. <laughs> okay, so you take... You take... <laughs> Oh, is this wait, where you now, going Wait, now, wait, see. Calm down. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, this one says, am I the asshole for refusing to donate my eggs to my mom? So, so my 55-year-old mom wants to have a baby, but have been finding it difficult to conceive normally. She asked me to donate my eggs to her so she can have her child. I'm not comfortable with this for so many reasons. One, she's already old and have other kids. So why does she want more? Also, the procedure is very evasive. Invasive. Invasive. Yeah, I think that's supposed to be invasive. Mm -hmm. And I really do not want to do it. Also, the procedure is very invasive and I really do not want to do it. It is, it is not as if she needs another child. My mom thinks I'm selfish and says she would have done it for me. And I think, yeah, she's also said the reason why she wants to do this is because she has, she's about to get married to another man. Yeah. So am I the asshole for refusing to donate my eggs to my mom? <laughs> First of all, I'm coming. First of all, she's not even married to this other man yet. She's not married. She's planning to. Planning. I almost said fry egg, but she's trying to. <laughs> she's planning to what? She's borrow planning. eggs from mm-hmm. her daughter. Mm-hmm. So life, she's fifty-five, no mm-hmm. and she's got a medical advice, and she's now what telling her daughter that she's been self selfish. Yes, there are too many things stacked against. Yeah, there's just too many, and if it was flipped, right, she would do the same. That one is emotional. Emotional, yeah, like, emotional damage. <laughs> emotional I'm, I'm not a well, medical professional. I don't know what the ethics okay, are so, around this type of things. Mm-hmm. So, so, we start with that, right? So this is the thing. Like when I Mike earlier, so earlier in my career before I, you know, went into pediatrics, I had worked at a fertility center and I had seen I've you know I've seen lots of people coming for assisted, you know, conception type scenarios. And I can say this. I'm sorry, when you said assisted conception, I just pictured the some brain carry on. <laughs> well, I can you know, honestly. So uh, please say the nasty thing that th- went through your head. Literally. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, Didi, wow. <laughs> um, I am sorry for, for interrupting, oh, but carry on. So um, wow. one thing I can I can say for a fact is that. <laughs> I can say for a fact is that it is not the easiest uh-huh. thing to go through. Uh-huh. So even even in the you know context of um, having to get an egg donor, um, the whole procedure um, to prep the egg donor so that they have enough to harvest and then you know do the IVF and then uh-huh. do the implanting. The whole thing is something. It's it's it takes a lot now. It is invasive. She's correct. It's an invasive procedure. She's going to get hormones. If she agrees to this, she's going to have to be on hormones. Those hormones will do whatever they will do. Some people, I don't, I don't think I, I, I came across one person who didn't complain mm. about, you know, the effect of the hormones. And then if, if God forbid, she does goes ahead and gets hyperstimulated, that, that one's another situation entirely where she has so many exams. That one is a completely, mm-hmm. the situation you don't want, you mm. know. So there, there are many variables and there are many things that you, you ask, you have to, at the end of the way, you're thinking about them, you ask yourself that, do you really want to expose yourself to all of this for an uncertainty? Like, because there's no certainty. She's, mom is 55 for one foot. The second thing is, she's not like she's getting, like she says she's going to get married. Mm. She's not married. She's mm. not married. So those things are like, do you really want to do this? But then flip side though, um, <laughs> I'm like, if she stopped at that, you know, the point of saying that it was invasive, mm-hmm. you know, 
and didn't carry on with many other things. I probably would just have been, I'll be all in her corner, I would be fully support her. But you see that part of saying, um, what they call it, she's had other children, um, and you know, all those other reasons. I'm not, I'm not sold. It's her decision. It's her decision at the end of the day. But it's just, you know, the way it's coming across. Mm. In the way it's coming across, she, she could sound like an asshole. That's the truth. She could sound like an asshole. Because her mom is she's an adult. She wants to live her life. But at the same time, um, yeah, mom, is being, uh, mom is being an asshole. So sorry. <laughs> mom is being an asshole. Because so, I'm like, she, it doesn't have to be her. Mm. It actually doesn't have to be her daughter. So, so <laughs> why, while I understand, I think I understand why the mother wanted to be her daughter because then it will feel more like... Like her genetics like her, her, and whatnot, yes. right? Mm. So, mm. so, there's so many things, right? So, it then becomes, why does she, uh, why does the mom feel that kind of pressure? So, like, I understand if mm-hmm. it was a much younger lady that's mm-hmm. never had children before. Yes, exactly. For a while. <clears throat> right? mm-hmm. So, again, it's difficult to understand. Okay. I like pressure. that you brought up yeah. the much younger lady that has been married for a while. Let's flip this. <laughs> if, for example, if, for example, the was... much younger lady that has been married for a while has not had, had it's having difficulty mm-hmm. having a child mm-hmm. and she, she asked her mom mm-hmm. to give her the eggs. Straight up, I will say, mom, please do it. Yes, yeah, so I can understand that. Yeah. So it goes back to Consent, disclosure. Because if the mom, right, family is family, right? Mm-hmm. Your mother's love mm-hmm. can't necessarily explain, right? Mm-hmm. So if the mother, for some reason, is healthy enough, mm-hmm. because I don't think anybody would want to put the other party, but in, the other mother, that, yes. in danger, mm-hmm. where she has other medical conditions that could make whatever she's So doing. what are what the, sorry, to, to you know, mm-hmm. augment mm-hmm. this point, Tosin, mm-hmm. what's the age range that you'd say on average, right, is safer for an older person to donate eggs to a younger person? <sighs> I'm not a specialist in the field. I have to Obviously, say that yes. full disclosure. Mm-hmm. But I would just go with the age range point or the you know benchmark mm-hmm. point where people usually would set for um, elderly, elderly, like elderly primaries mm-hmm. up to premenopause. So mm-hmm. if we're talking from late 30s, mm-hmm. You know, typically from the late thirties onwards, the quality of egg starts is to, not so. It starts to, you drop. know, that quality starts to drop. So, um, and then by ten percent entering into the forties, you know that okay, this person is hovering around perimenopause, premenopause. So, that's not you. It's not your um, ideal pool, um, you know, pool mm, so try to and try harvest. and harvest. Mm. Some people do it, yes, because maybe they want to like have a bank, like mm. store eggs. But they usually, usually the advice is to do that, you know, so, harvesting earlier and have it in a bank earlier than when you're getting to your late 30s, 40s. So basically yeah. that scenario, this scenario that we're trying to to picture. flip mm-hmm. and picture, yeah, for basically do it. doesn't, we can't, it can't, it will be difficult to picture it happening because... For the mom mm-hmm. to still be able to give viable eggs, she would probably be 45 or less. She could still so give if she eggs. Started having... It's just, it's going to be, like, compared to someone who's like 25, she could still give eggs. No, that's, yeah? not, my, that's mm-hmm. not even my angle. My angle is the the time range, right? If her mother is 25, mm-hmm. sorry, 45, mm-hmm. and she wants eggs from her mom, mm-hmm. if her mom gave birth to her 20, mm-hmm. so she's just 25, mm-hmm. she Cannot possibly be that desperate at twenty five. No, so again, there different there's so many things conditions, consider, right? So she can might have medical myself, conditions yeah, that she can be able to have several um, things. Have eggs, yeah. Several things. So if she knows, for example, she might for two no, years. You don't understand. I'm not saying why does she why does she, why, why does she not have 25? eggs? Yeah, why, why she, she desperate to have kids at twenty five? So, so, so again, cultural there are different, factors. There are different things. There are different, cultural factors there are, different are things. big. Yes. So again, if they're exposed enough to so know that you can do a procedure now. to get wait, eggs, wait. to do a whatever yeah. implantation, blah, blah, blah. So, maybe it, so then maybe this it doesn't make sense to, again to you. <laughs> what I've learned in this human life is that <laughs> what makes sense to you <laughs> doesn't make sense to somebody else. So let's yeah. assume all things being equal, she has that need. It is what it is. Right? At 25. That's so it's great to have in a child. Context it, is it that is what it is. Context to think about it to your point. She's too... Anybody that's putting now, a 25 year old child wait, under wait, pressure wait, to have wait, a child. Wait, 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 wait. Let me explain from this picture, right? So the point is, if she, for some reason, knows at that age that she's not producing eggs mm-hmm. and the only option to have a child is to get a donor mm-hmm. and she thinks 
I want a donor that shares genetic My makeup genes. as I do, right? With me, rather. Maybe she has no sister. The only other she female in her immediate family membership is her mother. Her mother is still relatively young. Mm. So it might be best to do it now to increase her chances. Right? Fair. So that's okay. the context. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, so in that context, context, that makes sense. Because mm-hmm. So again, if the medical assessment suggests that the mom can, can go through, go through the process, fine. it is their call. So you guys are fine with it. So the only other con- consideration for me mm. is disclosure to her spouse. No, it has to be something. It has to be something that they both agree on. Now, uh, so that's the point because you hear all sorts of wild things where yeah. disclosures are not complete. So yeah. that's the only other context. But if everybody's on the same page, we are happy. We're dandy. Mommy is healthy enough, not exposed to any extra so, risks. I think it's fine. So yeah, it's mommy's eggs, husband's sperm. Mm. Once they are, yeah, once they are agreement. okay. It's once their choice. Once, once, they, once, they, once, they, once they are comfortable with it, it's fine. It's so you don't business. think the mother will come maybe later in the future and say, "That's my daughter. That's my child. She will die first. Just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. saying, has killed me. So <laughs> but there are legal ways to make sure that that. Doesn't yes. Yeah. Yes. So yes. once they are on the same page, <laughs> documentation. Don't want you to do. You so, uh, yeah. She's not. No. Yeah. Once you yeah. donate, it's legally not your child. Yeah. Those. Yeah. Those big case although it became a movie i don't remember the name yes of yes i can't remember the name yes yeah, sarah yeah. sarah yes Ooh. sarah i've got to, it was a, a big know. thing where um there was a surrogate mom mm-hmm. and the surrogate they, were, they had you know had all the paperwork mm-hmm. legals everything done and she had the baby and then it was time to hand over the baby and, and then said, it was yeah. like yeah, i'm not going to give you the baby and then it became a whole you know, case. Yes. Yeah. There, was, there was a whole, I'm telling you, there was a whole song. She was like, she was like, she was not going to let this baby go. Yeah. That's even more complicated case. than an egg donor. Yes. Case. So that's, yeah. So but this I, case, I think yeah. it's simple. Like okay, so let's flip. Let's do another flip. Right. Yeah. What if? Sister. No, no. This one is a more, is a move. <laughs> what if, right? Yeah. It's the man mm-hmm. and that his swimmers happened. are not swimming. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right, oh. and he asks his brother <laughs> or his father mm-hmm. because men typically can keep producing until they drop, mm-hmm. right? Um, so in that sort of situation, father, though, that would be a very awkward conversation. So, yeah, so in that sort of situation, now he's the, the guy is there, his doctor has told him that your swimmers are not swimming, mm-hmm. his wife is like, I want a baby. Mm-hmm. So, obviously, nobody wants anybody to step out of the marriage, mm-hmm. right. And he also is desperate for it. He wants he wants yeah, children yeah, as well. Yeah. They both want children. <laughs> and then he goes to his father or his brother. Zin is already shaking then, his head. He then, said no. <laughs> so how we go come be? Do you think would you be comfortable with like what do you think? Do you think that's fine? On, on what for like, a, so so what what's the what's the issue here? The issue here is if the father says or the brother says, Nope, I don't want to do that. I don't want to donate my sperm mm-hmm. to get your wife pregnant, mm-hmm. are they the asshole? I no. It's a, it's a choice. It's actually, it's a, there's no obligation mm. to do anything. There's none. There's none. There are those people who are saying it's easily. <laughs> like, it's the, they, they're so, desperate for a child. You can make your brother no, it's and not, his wife. I think it's, I think it's very... It's I, very it, what's the right there's, there's a sense in... Is man, you didn't think it's manipulative? Yes, it's, it's actually it on bordering, it's bordering it's on bad. being manipulative. Because at bad. the end of the day, like bad. there are people who are eager and willing to donate... Do you yeah, understand? But they're not your family. So that's so what you said. You want genetics. But there is no mm-hmm. obligation. But, but, they don't owe you they that. Don't, that's the truth. They actually don't. They don't. Ah, no. You're they my don't. family. They don't. <laughs> you should give me.